are now listening to Diesel Beats. Using your chest to slow down gravity. So I'm gonna change your angle just a little bit. Now come down. Right about there. Stop. Now don't come up yet. Now push from right here first. Now go up. See that? Yeah. So don't push from here. Push from here. You're gonna stay a little wide. And then push from your chest. Right there. Don't go too low. There you go. So you want to use your chest to slow down gravity. That's good. Yeah. So that way, the negative movement is building more muscle more than the positive movement. Yeah. But if you're allowing gravity to take place, you say, don't go too low. Oh, really? That's, then you don't want to go... When you go too low, your delt's going to work too much. Okay. Remember, delt is going to work no matter what. Yeah. But once you go past the angle of loading, right there, that's it. Okay. And then you push them right here. There you go. One more. You got the elbows? Yeah. Alright. Got the wrist. The wrist? wrist. Alright, come on. That's it. Now press. Only press. Come on, Jay. One more. Control. Press. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. Woo! I like that. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what building muscle is all about. Muscle activation. If you're just swinging weights around, thinking you're building muscle, you're just getting tired. But if you allow the muscle to do the work first, I always say activation before motion. If you just go in motion, it's just motion. But when you activate the muscle, the muscle is going to work more than you build more muscle. Who cares about how much weight you bench press, right? We're not powerlifters, we're bodybuilders. How you much do you bench press? I don't. I don't know. You know what I always tell them? When it, how much you bench press? As much as I can. Yeah. That's it. No wasted motion. It's not about how fast you move the weight. It's about how much the muscle is working while you're moving the weight. That's what it's all about. You can go as fast as you want to go, but are your muscles working? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you go that slow, you're recruiting massive amount of muscles. And that's what's going to lead to gains. It's going to lead to some growth in the muscle. The more you tear the muscle down, while slowing it down, the more muscle you gain. Come on, Jay. It's just crazy what happens when you effectively load and work a muscle and you can knock it out like that. Then you cut the gym time in half. Whenever you're pressing that muscle, think about you doing a side chest pose on stage. Mm. Let your mind go there. Pull, hard, split, separated, shredded. It's all about the mind now. And your mind is not going to fail you your body will fail you, but get your mind into it. Once the pain comes in and the pain is telling you you can't, just laugh at pain and say, yeah, you don't, you don't understand pain, I need you. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, get it up there. There you go. Put your body forward. Here. Yeah. The one day I was doing the squats and the legs with you, and then we went on to the Pack squat and a uh -huh. quad extension. Extension, yeah. And it was slow, uh -huh. overload. Uh huh. And that's when I knew I was like, shit. I feel like I was made to do this because that pain that everyone okay. hates, I okay. love, and it drives, and it's more and more. Because you know, behind that pain, you're making a better you. And there's something bigger behind that. Yeah. Pain.
Because if you don't bring the pain in and accept the pain and embrace the pain, then you ain't gonna get anywhere. Yeah. Some people are, I always act like pain is bad for you. Oh. If I see pain over there, I'm going over there to rack them. Go like, again. come on, pain. Yeah. I'm getting you right now because I know what I want from you. Yeah. So if I don't get you, I'm not gonna get me. Yeah. That's what pain is all about. No time wasted, guys. Yeah, yeah. You're at the gym, someone is on one machine. Find something to do. Don't stand around and wait around thinking that guy got three more sets and you're sitting there wasting time. Go do something else and come back and get back to the machine you've been waiting for. Don't wait. Keep moving. Don't wait. The chest pump right there. The chest pump. Alright, uh, do that again. Alright, uh, so what I want you to do is pull this arm back. See this this opening right here? Feel it? Feel it? And then you wanna feel like you're pushing this down, you're pushing this up. Yeah. There you go. See that? Yeah. Right there, and I bring your chest up. And then you wanna tilt a little. Yeah. See that? Yeah, that's perfect. That the chest because if you leave that angle there, it distorts. There's a distortion coming out because there's a space between your arms and your chest. Yeah. So when you pull it back, you're right here, and then you do something like this. Instead of, see that? Yeah, yeah. You, you don't want, that yeah. yeah. So when you pull this back, so you want to feel like you're doing a bicep pull and a tricep push down with a cable crossover. <laughs> oh shit. You get a whole stage full of people up there going like this. <laughs> You'll be like, huh? Say what? <laughs> Love it. How long my arm? Look at that. I'm like six, five, three. Are you using that? All right. Can we find another rope? Because this will just limit me here. Look, my dad is over six feet tall, and I'm barely five six, but I have a wingspan of a six footer. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy. People don't know. My middle finger goes right. Keep my hands now. It touches the middle of my knees. Okay. Grip a little bit lower. All right. Now separate your wrists and keep your elbows in, in, like in closer to your chest, your body. Okay. Now step back a little bit. Okay, don't, I don't want you leaning forward at all. Okay, slightly bend your knees. Be in an athletic position, wait in the middle of your instep. Slightly bend, don't bend too much. All right, now go straight down. Don't lean forward at all. Come back here. Oh. So from here, I just want you to bend your elbows. Yeah. Right there. I got this one. And then you go straight down again. Squeeze, there you go.
I upped the weight a little bit. Yeah. Because it took me like six to seven reps to you feel. Get that sooner. Yeah, I want to get it sooner. Yeah. How was that? Oh. I put my arms on my arms was like no no no. Ah. Oh. I used to drive. I used to have a crotch rockets and I'd come home from the gym after chest and triceps. I couldn't ride my motorcycle because you're leaning over and like the tri tricep. And it would, it would crample me. And go ah. Oh. So I just land the gas tank like this on the on the throttle. So we're here in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, my good buddy Moji, natural pro, just flew in from California. Uh, took him to grab a workout, destroy some muscles uh, in a whole new dimension. That, that's a whole new way to train. It's called the Motrix. <laughs> but uh, it's a good pain. So we just killed uh, some chest and triceps. Uh, got to get some posing tips. And yeah. It's got a long day of the. Uh, uh, the Expo. Our classic weekend. Expo. Yeah, what booth you be at? Um, I, I'm going to be at the Pro Lab and MRI booth. Pro Lab MRI booth. Yeah. Come say hey. Come say hey. Get some samples. And we have um, a new product coming up. Coming out. We're going to be debuting this product called NeuroPump. Basically, is the first cognitive pre-workout that you will ever find on the market right now. Basically, what the NeuroPump is, the active ingredient is, is called Synthesis. Basically, what it does is it helps you allow your brain to um, release a little bit more focus so you can focus 100%, release more nitric oxide, help you release more growth hormone. So synthesize is basically an ingredient that actually allows your mind, let's say you're studying for an exam, you're getting ready for a test, you can actually use this product to help you remember and help you have more mind and muscle connection with your workout. So come check us out at the ProLab MRI booth from Friday all the way to Sunday. Catch you soon guys. We out.